The Ukrainian defense forces successfully counterattacked and recaptured the village of Kalinovka, north of Chesov Yar, from Russian forces. Build analyst Julian Ropk reports this. The analysis notes that the Russian army is using double strike tactics when advancing on Chesov Yar, west of Bakhmut. The Russian armed forces directly attack the Canal Micro District in the east of the city, and also bypass it from the flanks. Bild recalls that at the end of April, the Russian occupiers advanced in the south and reached the Seversky Donetsk Donbass Canal. In the north, they recently captured the village of Kalinovka and also reached the canal. At the same time, the Canal Micro District was completely destroyed, but remains in the hands of Ukrainian defenders. However, as Bild writes, recently the Ukrainian armed forces successfully counterattacked and recaptured Kalinovka. Ukrainian troops recaptured most of Kalinovka and pushed the Russian occupiers away from the canal at Chesov Yar, the statement said. Russia recently deployed thermobaric grenade launchers to Chesov Yar, but despite heavy shelling, the Ukrainian military launched a counterattack. The occupiers thought that they would quickly capture the city and it would be easy prey for them, but instead they fell into a trap. Now heavy battles of attrition continue in our yar. Military expert Mikhail Zyrakov noted that now more attention is paid to the situation in the Kharkov region, despite the fact that the situation in the Donetsk region requires specific actions. He noted that near the city of Chesov Yar, the invaders already have a bridgehead on the right bank of the Seversky Donets, Donbass Canal and are crossing it very powerfully. The expert believes that these are unpleasant bells for Ukraine, which may indicate an acceleration of the retreat of the Ukrainian armed forces. Russia deployed thermobaric grenade launchers to Chasov Yar, Ukrainians launched a counter-attack. After finally capturing the ruins of Avdiivka, Russian forces set their sights on another eastern target, the industrial town of Chasov Yar, which had a pre-war population of about 12,000. Now, there are heavy battles there. According to Forbes, Chasov Yar is vulnerable because it is located on the very edge of the contact line west of Bakhmut and is dependent on a canal with two easy crossings. Its easternmost region is even more vulnerable. Chasov Yar should have been easy prey for the Russians, but it became a trap for them with battles of attrition. They achieved significant success, but at a cost of thousands of casualties. Ukrainian losses are significantly less. Russia's strategy in the months-long battle for Chasov Yar is clear. With intense close air support, Russian troops from the 200th Arctic Motorized Rifle Brigade, 299th Air Assault Regiment, 11th Air Assault Brigade and other units attack the canal area to gain a foothold for a direct attack on the center and also attacked the village of Kalinino to put pressure on supply lines in Chasov Yar. The Russians are not good at this tactic, and even the recent deployment of Russian thermobaric multiple launch rocket systems TOS-1 and TOS-2 in the Chasov Yar sector has not significantly changed the balance of power. The 41st Mechanized Brigade, 241st Territorial Defense Brigade and the Presidential Brigade are in control of Chasov Yar, the canal area and Kalinino. In recent days, the Russians managed to briefly push the Ukrainians back into Kalinino, but the Ukrainians counterattacked despite heavy shelling. The Ukrainian Center for Defense Strategies is pessimistic, in particular regarding the canal area. The enemy will soon capture the canal area in Chasovoy Yar, since its advanced units have taken the main position around this part of the city, the center noted. In fact, one of these positions was in Kalinino, and Ukrainian counterattacks destroyed it. 
Apparently, this happened after the center published its battlefield assessment report. Part of the problem for the Russians is that they were counting on a VE day offensive along the Russian-Ukrainian border north of Kharkov to draw Ukrainian units away from the eastern battlefields to weaken defenses around towns like Chasovya. But they were replenished in time with American ammunition, the Ukrainians were able to bolster their northern defenses and stop the Russian advance without weakening much of their eastern defenses. Meanwhile, a growing shortage of armored vehicles and the slow disintegration of the Russian military's basic training system forced poorly trained Russian troops to storm Ukrainian positions on foot.